so hi everyone today we will be talking about gpus and which gpu should you use for generative ai we will be talking specially about the nvidia gpu series though there are other top gpu brands as well like nvidia is there amd is there intel you might have heard of qualcomm apple and so on but then why are we talking just about nvidia this is because nvidia is the most easily available and the most compatible as well this is not a paid promotion so don't worry about it so we would be going through different nvidia gpu series comparing them based on performance based on cost and try to understand which is the best suitable for you why i'm picking this up because recently you might have heard of nvidia releasing the rtx 50 gpu series which was taken to be a game changer so just to throw some light on the hardware part of generative ai as well i am doing this particular post so let's get started so the first and the most popular nvidia gpu series is geforce rtx i think this would be if you are using a consumer grade laptop or pc you might have been using the 230 or 490 480 rtx gpu which is coming from this particular series and the target audience is gamers creators ai enthusiasts there are certain key features of this particular gpu series as you can read here the most important one cuda cores high performance parallel processing so you might have heard of nvidia's cuda library which is compatible with geforce rtx series these are the other features that you wish to look upon now the next series is nvidia rtx professional series this is taken to be the best for visual task like for example if you're doing some sort of an engineering uh, using cad 3d rendering i think this can be your go to series as you can see here they have a high memory capacity 48 gb ddr6 ddr6 is a type of ram if you don't know and multi gpu scalability one some of the examples are a6000 a5000 nvidia a series i think this is something that we might not require but this is more for enterprise level data centers it is optimized for ai deep learning high memory bandwidth and supports mixed precision ai training the examples are a100 a800 the fourth one is an nvidia h series i think it is even better than the a series and even bigger even more expensive also what i heard and these are its key features reduce memory usage boost ai performance optimized for llms 80 gb hbm3 high memory capacity etc the next is the nvidia blackwell series i think you might have heard of the latest one which was released 2 weeks back uh, the 50 series is called as a blackwell series so as you can see it is efficient for generative ai models f4 precision floating point 4 precision is supported here pre packaged ai models are present and the tera operations per second is very high about 3000 this is very very high some examples are 590 500 uh, 5090 5080 nvidia jetson series i think we covered this recently in our post as well which is more for edge ai and robotics small devices so you might have heard of jetson nano which was released recently so compact in size low power consumption very small in size so jetson oren jetson zexier are from this particular category nvidia dgx systems is again not for us but for enterprise and it combines multiple gpus of a100 h100 series that we talked earlier so it is a monster of a gpu series that we have got and some of the examples are dgx h100 dgx a100 similarly goes for nvidia t series data centers and edge computing nothing of our use here so low power consumption optimized for energy efficient ai inferencing and it is more for edge devices so if you are looking for uh, moving into edge ai i think the jetson series and the nvidia t series kind be your go to solution now talking about which gpu should we buy so here is a cost range that you can see so as you might have if you are working on gpus i think most probably you would be having the geforce rtx series which comes in the range of dollars 500 to 2000 dollars rtx professional as you saw which was more for visual task is a little expensive than the geforce rtx series a h series and the h series a h series and dgx series are very very expensive and not and not not for us as you can see it is not for individual usage the cost is very very high blackwell series is also expensive but i think it's still manageable the t series is mid range t series and jetson are both for edge so do remember this so these two are for edge oh, 
this two are for edge h and a plus dgx is for enterprise a g force rtx rtx professional and blackwell series are for consumer individual usage i think depending upon your budget you can choose now talking about performance comparison g force rtx high performance for gaming entry to mid level ai task i completely agree because i am using one of the gpus from them as mentioned rtx professional is more for medium scale ai a h and dgx as you can see are for enterprise and dgx is the best in class it's the best gpu that you can have but expensive it, it's crazingly expensive blackwell series is for high end gen ai and real time rendering as i think you might have heard of jensen's speech also when he was releasing 590 and jetson series and the t series is more for edge computing as you can see compatibility i think geforce rtx you would be finding in gaming pcs workstations ai frameworks rtx professional is more for professional software to run right a series and x series are for enterprise infrastructure as we have already mentioned blackwell series is also specialized for gaming you might be able to run a blacking wokong t series and jetson are for edge devices as we have already talked about now which is most suitable for mobile devices as we have already mentioned G4 RTX RTX Professional A H Blackwell DGX are not for mobile devices only these two are for mobile devices T series is also not for mobile it is just for edge devices running huge llms if you are running an llm which is more than 100 billion parameters you can see that GT uh, G4 RTX series might not be able to run it alone because it is up to 24 GB RTX Professional is better than g4 but still limited 48 gb a h and dgx are the best but they are super expensive t and jetson can't run it blackwell series is high end but i'm not sure because just 32 gb is right so if you're running a huge llm i think the professional then uh, the professional gpus made for enterprise are the best fits or you get multiple cheaper resources that you can do ideal for small llms that is less than 10 billion models the 7b models or the 3b models g4 rtx is the go to solution i think i am using that only and i am able to run even a 32 billion model parameter quite efficiently on a 4 gb gpu so it is pretty decent rtx professional series is great for small llms i think a h and dgx would be an overkill any day because these are huge gpus spending this much just to run a small llm won't make sense jetson series might be able to run the quantized version of these model not the full versions blackwell series is also good for these llms best for enterprise i think we have already discussed about this a h and dgx is great and rtx is more for professional software so these four should be your go to if you are looking for enterprise solutions best for individual users g4 rtx blackwell jetson t series uh, should be your go to solution if you are looking for edge these two if you are looking for pc these two as mentioned in the tip in the end if you can take some delays in inferencing better buy a cheaper a cheaper gpu and take a shorter latency but buy more quantity because at times you would require 40 gb or 50 gb of gpu memory so you're going for a very expensive gpu might empty your pocket so better buy a cheaper gpu but in scale so i hope this particular post was useful for you there would be certain terms you might have not understood but i think this might have given you an idea what are the different gpu series present what does g4 rtx mean what is blackwell etc and which one to go for thank you so much